Hey again, everybody. Brandon Swanson along with this guy. That's Ricky Widmer. Yeah, this guy. I don't know how we got in the studio. We or had a that guy. Whatever you want. We to almost call had Jeremiah Ratliff <laughs> drunkenly hold him off, but he got distracted. <laughs> they had to carry him out. But um, so that's why Ricky's here with me today. I'm a little worried, but I was more worried having Ratliff here. So we've got the Vikings and the Bears, and I don't know how the Bears are going to be this week after their team captain under Mark Fucking Tressman. Um, you know, he was actually kicked off the team for being a belligerent drunk um, and a piece of shit. Um, mm-hmm. And then you've got the Vikings, who actually are kind of a team. So Ricky, what are you thinking? Um, what well, do we got here? I mean, for this game for the Vikings, my key is Adrian Peterson, and the reason being is. In years past, Adrian Peterson has just demolished the Bears. Can he go back to his rookie season? His first game against the Bears, I believe it was at Soldier Field. This dude loves to feast on the fur of the Bears, and the Vikings got to ride him to a victory. I mean, it does help when you got a guy like Stefan Diggs who can go for 100 yards and a touchdown last week in the win, but for the Bears, it's you got it's that secondary. You got to limit the wide receiver or wide receiver, not wide receivers, wide receiver and Stefan Diggs for Teddy Bridgewater. Because if AP has to do it all on his own, Vikings may not win. If AP does what he do and Stefan Diggs have a game, then the Bears would be in trouble water. I think the Vikings have no problem in this one. It's not going to be as spread out of a score as I would like to say. I'll say 17-14. Well, you know what? 24-21. I'll give an extra touchdown each. So 24-21, Vikings with the win. Bears and Bears fans are kind of second-guessing this season. But knowing Bear fans, you guys will be like, it's okay, we got John Fox. It's okay. I mean, if it was Lovey, you guys would be like, well, fire his ass. No, it's John Fox. It's okay. It's okay. We could suck. Well, the thing is, though, is I think that with John Fox, the Bears at least have hope for the future and that we'll actually not draft like complete idiots like we have in the past. I was the same way as a Cub fan until Theo came along. Yeah. So So I know how you feel. There you go. All right, folks. Ricky is picking the Vikings over the Bears 24-21. Comment down below. Let us know what you think. Vikings? Bears? And who wins and why? Comment down below. You can also follow us on Twitter. Ricky's at Ricky Widmer. I'm at young underscore young underscore swan19. I almost forgot what I was at. <laughs> and then you can follow Most Valuable Podcast at Most Valuable Pod. And keep listening and watching us. The best gold out there. And we got more coming. Because we does what we do and we does it well. Stefan Dix. <laughs> I'll throw this out there too. The Bears win. I'll change my Twitter avatar to the Bears logo for a week. There. Wow. That's deep.